Oh, I got a fish on. You're gonna run over my line, bro. You're gonna run over my line, bro. Welcome to Jersey Style Saltwater Fishing. Welcome to Hook Shots. I'm Joe Cermelli, standing here overlooking the ocean in Seabright, New Jersey. Now it's fall, one week shy of Halloween. And though we travel to a lot of places here on Hook Shots, this time of year, there's no place I'd rather be than right in my home state. So today I'm running out with my good buddy, Captain John Lutchka, Long Run Fishing Charters. You sound like a bass pro. Uh oh. Ooh, that's a big one. And Captain Dick Ketchow, Gateway Marina. So this time of year, you're really looking for birds out there. We don't know if we're gonna find bluefish, false albacore, striped bass. All right, my homeboy from Hardcore Tackle, Captain Eric Kerber, he's already out there. Let's phone a friend and see what's going on. We got, uh, we got bass and blues, underbirds on rainfish, with jigs and poppers and geezers. There's birds going for sir. Oh, look at Joe, right to your left. Oh, God. All right, we got it. This is a time of year where you get a lot of migration, not only just the predatory fish, but also all your bait fish. Trash that shack. Rain bait. There was sand deals out there. Fish blowing up right in front of us. He's a little small, but that's what fall's all about here. Johnny, it's gotta be killing you to be on that camera. Oh, <laughs> oh, going nuts? I'm dying. Here goes Captain Eric grandstanding. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're in. Bloody boat is a happy boat. Carnage. These birds, these fish, they just go up and down and up and down. You gotta be really quick on it. Just missed something right here. You gotta have a quick boat. That's why we have 600 ponies on the back of this contender. Three o'clock, inside! This just came up, Dick, did you see them? All of a sudden, we look out about two o'clock and we see birds and the bass start erupting. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable! Now when you have all this rain bait out here, a lot of sand eels, you're using really small lures to match it. In this case, I'm just throwing a little cast master here, uh, throwing some shad, some other metals. But you know, there are times when you have 15 pound blues or 20 pound stripers that are eating bait so small and there's so much bait that it's actually really hard to match. Now one way to do that is if you're a fly fisherman. But if you're not a fly fisherman, there are ways to deliver really small baits on the right kind of tackle. And my homeboy, Captain Eric Kerb, he's gonna explain that. And though I could have him explain it out here. I can explain it better back at the shop. What's up, folks? Check out the size of this striped bass. Which was? 
caught by Joe Cermelli. What do you do when a fish that size is eating baits smaller than your pinky finger? Like I've said before, I'm not much of a fly fisherman, but the fly guys definitely have an advantage in this situation. But not when the wind's really cranking and the fish pop up 70 feet away. So if you need to deliver this fly on spinning gear, the easiest thing to do is attach it to a leader behind an inline sinker. This sinker might get the fly where it needs to go, but it's probably not going to give it the best action. Here's a little trick I started using for smallmouth. When the smallmouth were on bugs or tiny minnows, a wet fly tied behind a popper would always keep the rods bent. For bigger fish like stripers, I'll scale up the same rig by tying a clouser minnow or a deceiver fly behind a walk the dog topwater style lure. Why the walk the dog? Because that side to side glide will give that fly a lot more natural action than a popper. Alright, that's enough shop talk. Let's get back to the blitz. The soul is in so deep. I think I can get out. Alright, we got some birds up to the north here. Dick, are you a fan of the run and gun? Yes. Full run is begun! You gotta go top water. They're coming your way. We're a little further out on these birds. I know it's a pretty light ride, but whatever just smacked this metal hit it like a ton of bricks. It could be an albie. Might be a false albacore. The way he's digging. It's just a gator bluefish. Nicely done. <laughs> Significantly larger than the other blues we've caught today. So you know, that is a true Jersey gator. And the birds are kind of dissipating. I can't think of a better way to end the day of running and gunning. I want to thank Dick for bringing us out here and uh, John for fishing with us today. We had an absolute blast. Thanks for checking out Hook Shots. I'm Joe Cermelli and we'll see you next time. You're really a man. Oh, I can't do You can't burn down that <laughs> <laughs> It's ABC, it's already been chewed. So, um... So, alright. Look at Captain Eric Kerber trying to mug us right there. The nerve of these Jersey guys!